what were the, the limits to, uh, to equality at that time? Well, the, the, the claims to equality go f very far forward during the revolution, but they stop at a certain point. They don't go all the way. White men gain far greater rights than they had before. The right to vote is tremendously democratized. Religious freedom is institutionalized in most of the colonies become states. Um, freedom of speech, freedom of the press, these ideals get tremendous you know, boost from the revolution. Um, on the other hand, other claims are put forward but are not successful. Some people claim greater rights for women, given the ideology of equality, but women don't gain a lot of new rights as a result of the revolution. And of course, the greatest contradiction, slavery, has an ambiguous uh, uh, outcome from the revolution. On the one hand, slavery is put on the path to abolition in the northern states. Uh, and part of that is because of the revolutionary ideology. On the other hand, in the southern states, slavery survives. It's very weakened for the moment. Thousands of slaves in the name of liberty run away from the plantations. They run away to the British. They seize their own freedom. But nonetheless, slavery survives and continues to grow during this period. So the cry of equality picked up by African Americans is not recognized by the rest of American society.